Hello, fish fools. Jeff here. So it's been a while since I've shown this two gallon hexagon aquarium. And what we have here are the last three fish in this tank. So yeah, it's been seven months since I last showed this. Um, I haven't really paid much attention to it and put a lot of care into it. I, mean, I do still drop in food, pretty, a little bit of food pretty much every day. What we have here is that one that's shaking as it swims. That's a male. And then the bigger one is a relatively healthy looking female. And then this one in the center that's in the center right now is a female. It's all weird shaped. But these, all these fish were born in this tank. And you know, these two the shaking male and that weird shaped female appear to have stunted growth. You know, this basically is kind of an experimental tank. So I got this and I put a pair of guppies in here from my mutt guppy tank. And the female had three batches of fry they, that uh, the parent female has since died and the male that I put in here, here also has since died. But So the last, these three fish right here are at least seven months old because they had three batches of, like I said, that female had three batches of fry, the last one being about seven months ago, a little over seven months. So these three fish could be anywhere between nine months, like seven and nine months, as old as nine months, as little as about seven months. So, you know, like I said, this was kind of an experiment to see how they do in a two gallon aquarium and you know it's not you know i pretty much already knew it wasn't that good of a situation for them but and now i think i'm going to let that male and the weird shaped female just live out their lives in here and die look at that right there that's you can tell i have hard water that's a hard water stains right here. I guess when this is filled to the top it drips a little bit. So over time all this hard water, these stains accumulated. But this female, this one right here, the one that is appears healthy, I, I think I'm going to move her out of this tank and let her join the guppies in my five and a half gallon tank so that has three guppies in there now that's the tank that I was that I had camelanus worm issues that I did multiple treatments and I believe, I believe I have that resolved so now that tank right now has no female guppies in it so I think I'll let her join that up I'm gonna I'll talk more about that when I do show that five and a half gallon tank, which has been a while. Um, but before I got my phone out to make this video, I did see this male approach the healthy female with its gonopodium, which kind of surprised me. I didn't really think he had it in him, being all anemic and sickly looking. But 
but you know, I I attribute their stunted growth to you know the tank size and conditions. The the water parameters are um, no different than any of my other aquariums. You know, for instance, my thirty gallon planted live bear community tank that's loaded with fish and I'll you know the fish in there lots of fish growing up nice and healthy so they're stunted growth not because of water conditions it could be because of feeding in their diet because I Compared to my other tanks, like the 30 gallon, as I, I mentioned, as an, a, a comparison example, I do give that tank a lot more variety. I mean, I pretty much the entire menu of my fish food gets fed to that tank. Where this tank, I mostly just drop in a little bit of flake food. Um, here and there, I'll put in some of the freeze dried food, like freeze dried brine shrimp and blood worms and and other types of food but but if i consider the food variable if i look back to before i got into the aquarium hobby i got back into the hobby last summer last july but years ago when i when i kept fish i had guppies and back then all i had was flake food and i you know so they my guppies were fed Flake food exclusively, and I was able to raise healthy guppies. And so, considering that, the food wouldn't be wouldn't have been the the reason. So I attribute it to the tank. So, and then just a little more about what's going on in this tank. All this Java moss. It is pretty much filled up the tank. You know, a lot of this filled up a lot of space in the tank. This is at least triple in size from the original batch that I put in here, and I've already pulled out. You know, when it's grown up to this much before, I pulled out most of it, and it has regrown again. Up at the top here, that's Ricky Fluitans. I just put that in pretty recently. And I still have some Java moss right here in the I'm not I mean Java fern, that's Java fern Windelev. So that's still doing okay. Good and healthy. Not growing fast, but maintaining. I did have some stem plants in here, right here on the left. That's a little bit of a nacarus that remains. But I have had Ludwigia repens in here. That's all gone. I did have some wisteria in here. That's gone. I had some guppy grass in here, and that's all gone. So, but the Java moss continues to grow, you know, despite some of these brown strands. I just put one of these little pieces of spider wood that I got uh, on eBay. But yeah, so I'm going to let these two male, the two sick fish, the male and that weird shaped female just live out their lives in here until they die. We're, I'm going to move this female, see if she can live a healthy life in my five and a half gallon tank and maybe join the males and have babies of her own. And going forward after that, I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to watch some videos there's a um, YouTube creator Michael Langerman 
who does a lot of nano tank, like guppy raising and nano tanks, and even like like extremely nano tanks, and get some ideas from some of his methods. Like he he's able to raise guppies healthy and successfully in small tanks, like I would like less than a gallon even. So I'm gonna do some research and see how he does it and then maybe get some ideas because I don't want guppies growing up stunted like these. But yeah, so that's the plan going forward. All right. And that's it for now. And I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.